I'm Allie. And I'm Leo. And today we are going, I am going to show y'all my clarinet. <laughs> this is my clarinet. It's in a beautiful case. And it, then and, you have to build it before you play it. And I'm going to show y'all my journey through my clarinet from here yeah. on out. <laughs> but also you're going to play it at your school. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going let's to tell get started. I'm going to tell y'all everything I know about my clarinet. And so I'm going to open it. So I know that. To, so first I have to open it. But how do I know which side to open it from? So which side is the top? You have or, to do wait, this. no. But how do you know if it's not upside down or not? So when you see this, that means it's not. Usually the brand on the on usually the brand of your clarinet is on the top. If you have so and um the bottom part of your clarinet box is bigger and the top is smaller. Also the handle, if you have a handle, it's usually on the bottom part. And you use it to hold it. And also if you have like little feet on the bottom. If you have feet on, oops, if you have feet on the bottom, it's, if you have feet on your clarinet case, it's usually on the bottom. So those are ways you can know that if your clarinet is on the oh, if your clarinet is above is uh, right side up. Okay, let's open it. Okay. Wait, Will. Okay. So. You do this. So I have to unlatch it. Yeah. Some some clarinet case, cases have zippers. Mine has an unlatching um, thing. And this is my clarinet. And let's go building it. Okay, so first of all, before before we build it, let me tell y'all some stuff that I have. I have cork grease, which I put on the corks to to, to like make it slippery so I can push it on and pull it off easily and <laughs> so we're gonna use it we're I have my for... reeds and I have my reed guard I have and Alvin has an extra one so when she breaks her she can use it yeah but if, if she breaks all of her teacher if, could give her more if these are worn out or um, you break one, which these are really easy to break, um, then you could just buy new ones. It's, I mean, don't break them because it's not very smart to break them. But this in my swab, so I um, so after I blow through my clarinet, I I put it through my swab. I put the swab to get all the spit out, the nasty stuff. And so let's get on to it. So, so these are the um pieces. parts of the clarinet. Do you know what this is called, Will? This, the horn. No, it's called the bell. See, like, look, it looks like a bell, so that's a bell. That's a bell. This is a barrel, a barrel. And this is a and this, this is, is the mouthpiece. This is the mouthpiece case. This thing on the mouthpiece is the ligature. And, and this is a Wait, Do you know what this is? No. <laughs> this is the lower joint. This is the lower joint. This is the upper joint. If if you that's kind of hard to rem to remember. So a way you can remember them is um, the upper joint is shorter and the um, and the, <laughs> the and lower the joint lower is longer. Okay, so next. Okay, I guess we can start putting it together Yay! now. 
Yes, Will has been waiting for this car. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first. The first part is a little bit gross, but you have to do it. And so the so you this is the regard. You put your reeds in the regard and um I'm pretty sure I think it um protects mold. I mean protects it from getting mold. And because like you use different ones on different things. And I have a name Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then, Friday. There's only four, so it's only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So today is, let's see. I'm not today, so I'm just going to use a random one. I'm going to use my Thursday one. I don't know what today is. <laughs> Today's Tuesday. Your, te your teacher also teaches. Allie's teacher teaches Allie. So first thing, it's kind of, huh? so there are three safe places for a reed. So a reed is very, very fragile. And hard. It's very, no, it's not hard, but it's fragile. And that means it can break really easily. So there are three safe places for a reed. Right now, it's not in a safe place. So it's either your reed guard, or on your clarinet, or in your mouth. Yes, I said in your mouth. So, <laughs> this part is kind of gross. So you have to soak your reed in your mouth for a while. So it has to get... So a reed is is like... So wood, when it gets wet, it um is it bends more easily. So because if I didn't soak it and I put it on my clarinet, then it would break because it wouldn't... Because like it vibrates when I blow into it. So, yeah, it would break if it wasn't wet, so. So while I'm doing this part, I'm gonna put my clarinet together. But it's like a puzzle. Because. Or actually, let me just look this real quick, cause that's easier. I'll help you. All right, so while you're reading, so soaking you can put your other clarinet parts together. I'm not right now because I'm gonna tell you stuff as I'm um, putting my clarinet together, but like I can't really talk with the reed in my mouth. So soak both ends of your reed, like the top and the bottom. I have to soak both ends because you know it has to all be wet. <laughs> I feel like my, my reed is good enough, so. I'm going to put it on my mouthpiece. So first, before I put on my mouthpiece, I have to put my mouthpiece and barrel together. So your mouthpiece, so your, so the, your barrel, it's like there's one big side and one small side. You'll know which side it goes on because one like it's too big and it'll just fall if you don't put it on the small side. So you can twist it a little. It won't break, but you can twist it a little. So now we have a mouthpiece and barrel. And I'm so this part's a little complicated. I'm going I'm <laughs> I'm going to come closer. So this is the mouthpiece and barrel, and I'm going to show you how to put your reed on your mouthpiece. So, so you have your ligature. The ligature, its job is to hold the the um <laughs> reed on onto the mouthpiece. So like that. So see this line right there. That line right there. Oh, hold on. That's the focus. Hold on. Oh, you can see it, right? I don't know if you can see it. But there's a line right there. 
it's kind of blurry, but so you line it up. Kind of try to line it up with that line right there if there is one. If not, just put it, line it up with your reed to the top. Try not to get black right there. Try it, like barely, you can see black. So you put the ligature. So this, if I, so let's see, hold on. I have to do my ref, left and right. So, this. So, if your read is this way, that means it's backwards. Has to be this way. It means it's upside down. So, put your. So, remember that line I was talking about earlier? Put your ligature to that line right there. And then tighten it. Like, untighten it first, but... <laughs> so, I am just just going to play the mouthpiece and barrel right now. And this is how it sounds. <laughs> first, I have to tell you how to put it in your mouth. Your top teeth, it goes on your top teeth, and you push out. Like, <laughs> push that hard. And then, and then... And then, <laughs> this is what it should look like. Oh, I also forgot to mention, this should be in the center. It shouldn't be like too far this way, too far this way. It should be centered. It's fine if it's like not perfect, but it can be. <laughs> it can't be like all the way over here. Okay, so you put your top teeth. Then, make your... <laughs> put your bottom lip over your bottom teeth and and then, and then blow. That's how it should sound or something like that. <laughs> so this okay, that's just the mouthpiece in braille. So now, I'm going to do the rest. So I'm going to put my <clears throat> mouthpiece on my, on my, <laughs> my, I'm going to put my mouthpiece cap on my mouthpiece and put it back in my case. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two together. What you have to do? So let's see, this is the, I uh, just comment down below what you think. This is before I say it. It's the um, upper joint. Also, another way to remember if it's the upper joint is the upper joint has a cork on the top and bottom. So, so hold it with your, this part of your hand under this this and that is under this part which is called the register key i'm pretty sure <laughs> and hold it like this and your key should be your hand should be on the keys on the other side because and it's really important for you to push down these keys <laughs> push down these keys when you're putting this and this together. The upper joint and the lower joint together. So, the way you do it, take the part with the part <laughs> that doesn't have cork on the on it and so make sure you push down these keys or your clarinet will break. Your bridge key right there. See it moving when I push the key? So, um, make sure you're pushing that, those keys down, because it moves the bridge key up, which makes it not break, <laughs> and you don't want your clarinet breaking. So, line it up <clears throat> with the other keys, and twist it a little bit, not too much, or it might break, and push it together. If you, 
Oh, and it, so I don't need cork grease right now, but, um, after a while, I'll put cork grease on it, because it, it might help it be able to pull apart, so I'll do that, and this is the upper joint and the lower joint together, so now, I'm going to get the bell, the bell is this part, if y'all don't remember, <laughs> So put it on the bottom of the lower joint. So um, on the bottom joint, there's a thumb a thumb rest. Y'all may not have that, but that's that thing right there. But um, without it, there's still a thumb rest. It's just a metal part. But I have this. So. Yeah, I'm going to put the barrel on the bottom part. You can twist it all you want, but don't do this. Don't take it down. Push it on your leg and while pushing this down. like, Because the cork will break or on the floor or anywhere. Just hold it and push it. My, my clarinet's pretty new. So it's kind of hard to... The bell's kind of hard to push on there. So... If you're not strong like me, I'm kind of strong. But if you're not that strong, you might need some help with that. Last but not least, <laughs> you have the um mouthpiece and barrel. So the mouthpiece and barrel. Put it on the top. You line it up with this. Comment down below what this is called again. I'm not going to tell y'all again. Don't, don't go back into the video because that's cheating. <laughs> so, but line it up with whatever that's called. Comment down below. Okay. Line it up with that. And now we fully have the clarinet. I'm not sitting in the chair right now. <laughs> but if you're sitting in the chair... You have it on your right leg, or actually, I'm not sure. I'm pretty, this so in band, there's ready position, there's relaxed position, and I'm um, one more. I keep forgetting it. Like, I know, I know what it is when, when they say it, but I keep forgetting it. I don't know, relax, ready, and rest relax rest in ready position so ready position where you're on the front here's a picture of it you're scooting to the front your um your legs are flat to the floor not in the sky on the floor um and your back is straight you always should make sure your back is straight when you're playing your instrument because if it's not like if you're doing this you're squeezing your lungs so like do this to make sure no crouching make sure you're you're straight and tall and then play and then playing position this is playing position and then you can play it so <laughs> it sounds a lot lower when you play it play it with the, all the parts on the clarinet. Um, this is what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. So when you're, um, yeah, it's a lot lower. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. But yeah, this is the clarinet. Here's another up close. It's kind of long. But like, the case is small. So that's all I've learned about the clarinet. Oh wait, yeah, I remember what I was going to say. Your left hand always goes on the top and your right hand's on the bottom. I think I might be able to play the, um, may I have a little lamb?
It's a little squeaky though, so. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. So, um, that's all I've learned about the clarinet. When I learn more, I will make a second video. Here's how you take apart the clarinet. So, you do it kind of in reverse from what, what, how you put it on. First, take off the mouthpiece and barrel. Then, take off the bell. Then you hold it like this and with the keys on the other side and push those down because it will break. Push them down, then pull it apart. And then, oh wait, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back together because it's easier to do it this way. So then, your swab. Get your swab and then you. So the swab it has a little weight on one side. There's like a little weight thing in there. So you put it in your clarinet. So push it all the way through. And then, this part, I like this part. It's kind of satisfying. You pull it through. And it, d depending on how long you played it, um, you do that multiple times. I barely played it, so I only did it once. So, yeah. <laughs> so, then, you push these down to lift the, what th th that is called. Hold on. You push it down, then pull, push the keys down, then pull it apart. Comment down below what that's called. If y'all remember, try to remember, <laughs> not cheat, because I will know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, then you put your upper joint, I mean lower joint, and upper joint back in your case. And then, so you, you, so here's how you take out your reed. Here's a safe and unbreaking way to take off your reed. So take off, unscrew your wiggles a little bit, then um, push it into your mouth. Put it safely back in your reed guard. Then take your mouthpiece and um barrel and pull them apart put it back in your case then take you can here's what i do i just take my reed and put it on on it and then just it's like unscrewed so i can just pull it off and take it off pull it on put it on and take it off and then I push this on it. And then I put it back in my case and I kind of fold up my swab and put it, actually I kind of don't, I really just ball it up. But um, but like there's not really a way to fold a circle. <laughs> Close it. And then, boom. So, yeah. And 
I hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.